You guys saw the difference in Kai. The whole year we worked towards this. It wasn't one day that he wasn't thinking, man, I want to win the Olympia. You think it's easy to go next to Phil Heath and get him scared? The guy is a gift. I mean, you know what I'm saying? He was scared. Believe me, guys. I was there. I was sitting in the front, and I saw Phil. He's breathing heavy, and he's looking at Kai back and forth. You know, like, he was scared. And the only way we did that is Kai worked every single day towards the Olympia. Rivalries are always good for the sport. It keeps it interesting, you know. Uh, you know, you had Arnold and Lou, you know, coming up and they had their rivalry. Um, I think the Phil and Kyle rivalry was good up until this year. I think it went a little too far, in my opinion. You know, I think there was some very poor judgment and sportsmanship used uh, during the, the Olympia weekend, and uh, you know that kind of thing. We're all role, we're all role models. If you're one of the top guys in the Olympia, you know whether you want to be or not, you're a role model, whether you want to accept it or not. So um, I thought they set a very bad example to the young men and women that want to you know, look up to us and want to be on stage one day. Here's first time Mr. Olympia, Phil P. Phil's, Phil's my guy, you know, I have, you know, I'm a huge fan of Phil Heath, but Phil Heath wasn't at his best. I mean, Friday, I mean, he, Kai could have swung enough momentum if he came in there like he says he's going to every year. I mean, everyone wants that 2009 physique, the Arnold Classic he had, but, you know, I was one of those guys they counted out, and I'm not going to sit there and say it can never be done, because in 2009, I came blew everyone away, and that was eight years after my prime, supposedly, of you know, when I should have won the Olympia. Kai can still do it, man. That would have, that would have been set seven years. I mean, listen, the guy's got an un unbelievable physique. Walking in the gym, he is still Mr. Olympia more than any guy I've ever seen. Fans are waiting, man. Kai Green, the fans are waiting to see what you can bring. Bring it to the Arnold. Bring it back to the Olympia. I think the difference between Lou and Arnold and Kai and Phil is that it, back then there wasn't that many competitors. Now we have so many competitors. I mean, just to get into the Olympia is tough. And you've got 16 of the best or 17 of the best in the world. It's a, it's a completely different animal, it's a completely different world, and you can't. Well, when you compare the rivalry, you can't compare how how different it really is and how hard it is to be at that level. Because Kai trains here, and people were saying this is Kai's gym. How could I have Phil Heath at Kai's gym? Well, I mean, this is Kai's gym, but you know, Phil's also a welcome guest anytime. You know what I mean? So it's it's not that you know this is Kai's gym and Phil can't come here or or Jay Cutler can't come here. This is open to everybody. So. for this. I am unprepared to deal with this level of what appears to be failure. Now you have a choice to make. You can fight it out, you know, detach yourself from your feelings put them on the side, stand there and smile and do all those things that, you know, are expected of a champion to do. Um, but, you know, your gut, the raw emotion is, 
I don't want to play anymore. That's it. When I saw my the prejudging, you know, when I saw my camera come out, it looked okay, but then as, to, as, I, as he began to pose, I didn't see his muscles pop as much, you know? And I remember posing with him in the gym, he looked bigger and harder. You know what I'm saying? And that's, you know, that's when you wanted something so bad, that's what you do. So there's nothing impossible. Nothing impossible as long as you put your mind into it. Any dream you can dream of, you know, you can make it reality. If you say, you know what, I'm going to work hard for it. My best effort because I already said in the year 2020, I am finished. I am done. I am not coming back. I'm not leaving any stones unturned. I'm climbing that mountain. I ain't looking behind me. I'm looking what's ahead of me and up, and up above where there's a perch where there's Arnold Schwarzenegger waiting for my ass. If I choose to do the work, if I choose to do the work, if I choose not to complain, if I choose to eat those meals and, and give a shit about my damn success more than anybody else, I put myself in a great position to be seven time Michelin Olympian. And the truth is, is that I've won the last three years. And the last time I did lose the Kite Union was at the March 2010 Arnold Classic. And I worked really hard to try to make sure that would never happen again because I felt that that was a very close contest. Listen, man, 2013 was 2013. 2014, every man came here to do their best to win. If you run up and you run your mouth, you're gonna get done up. Period.